Welcome back to the Twin Spire Saturday Spotlight. I'm Vance Hansen, joined as always by James Scully. And James, uh, this is another quiet post-Breeders' Cup pre-Thanksgiving weekend of racing across the country. And our focus this weekend is the Grade 3 River City uh, at a mile and an eighth. It's the most important older horse race on the turf of the Churchill Downs Fall Meet, and we've got a pretty competitive field. Yeah, and a, a competitive field of 10 bands, but not a lot of speed in the race. In fact, uh, there's really just, I think, a lone speed type in there. A lot of like late runners, including a mission office who could be the favorite, but I'm concerned. He's had trouble getting out of the gate in all but one start, and especially here of late, I think he could leave himself a lot to do. Mr. Misunderstood is the defending champ, but he's winless this year. He comes off a wide trip at, Re at Revenant Park. I'm a little concerned whether he's sharp enough. I've landed on Get Western for Charlie Lepressi. He hasn't been a mile and an eighth yet, but I think he has the right run style and he could get the right trip to, to get that distance to, uh, tomorrow on Saturday. And he won two in a row, one at Ellis in a stake race at uh, Kentucky Downs, the old friends, wire to wire. Caught a uh, stakes caliber field last time, Sacred Life. Uh, the winner was coming off a second in Bernard Baruch, real nice horse for Chad Brown, and ran a good four, uh, fourth, get Western dead. I think he'll get a better trip to m on Saturday, lead wire to wire. I also like Emmaus. Uh, he really has come on of late. Good allowance win last time. I think he'll be in position to pounce at the top of the stretch, and if the speed comes back, I think he can do it. What do you think? Uh, I'm, I agree with a lot of your points there. Uh, Get Western is the speed of the speed, no doubt about it. He's going to be very dangerous if he shakes loose and gets the distance. Uh, my main concern, though, is that uh, this course is not going to be labeled firm. He's never really per performed on a less than firm course before. We'll see how he handles it. And uh, like you, I think Emmaus is going to sit in a garden spot, swing second, third, fourth, maybe get a good run at uh, Get Western in the stretch and maybe outlast him going this distance. And Emmaus also has some class in his favor as well. Uh, his Canadian form this past spring and summer was very solid in a graded stakes at Woodbine. Uh, he didn't. He missed in a photo to uh, El Tormenta, who went on to beat Got Stormy in the Woodbine Mile, and that was a race of Mayus lost himself by less than five lengths after a slow start and some trouble in the stretch. And he's also faced a pretty good horse named Synchrony, who we were quite familiar with. So coming off a third level allowance at Keeneland, I think Mayus is going to be very tough here. All right, well, I'm going to bet uh, for my $20 bankroll, I'm going to bet five to win in place. I'm going to top pick the eight horse, and I'm going to box it with the Mayus, so a $5 exacta box and $5 to win in place. Uh, how are you playing the race? I'm going to do $15 to win on Emmaus, and then I'll put him in uh, $2 exact as on top over admission office, who I think is much better than he showed in the uh, Shadwell Turf Mile last time. He's very tough with his best. And also, I like a Cullum Road a little bit. He uh, ran a very close third in the uh, Baltimore-Washington Turf Cup at Laurel two back. He kind of uh, bounced a little bit off that performance in the third level allowance that Emmaus won at Keeneland, and I think he's very dangerous coming right back with uh, for trainer Mike Maker, who has three horses in this race. All right. So that's our views of the River City. You can tune into that race and a whole lot more this weekend at TwinSpires.com. Uh, join us this weekend, and we'll talk to you again next week.